Uh, it's great to have you on here today. My name is Brock Zevian uh, from good old Charlotte, North Carolina. I expect to have a beautiful weekend, Labor Day weekend. Unfortunately, I'm going to be working more than I want to, but uh, I don't have my kids this weekend, so I try to play a lot of catch up. I'm a life coach, business coach, real estate agent, and as always, my favorite job is I am a dad of two beautiful kids, Bryce and Brielle. So, I want you guys ever have a vision like those, like those big, like there's like those cylinders and the winds everywhere. And there's like dollar bills or hundred dollar bills, like all floating around and you're like trying to grab them and all over the place. That's where my brain was this morning. It was like all over the place of different thoughts of different things of what I wanted to talk about, what I wanted to say this morning. And it was just one of those that I, I had to get through it. And so I came up with this one. I started to reflect on what was going on this week. I don't know about you, but I really had an interesting week this week. I had a challenging week. And uh, good morning, Karen. And when I was going through my week, it came up that yesterday, as I always do, okay, those that know my story, going through a separation, going through this divorce, and it's been about three years. And I like to be vulnerable about this because the more that I share with people, the more that I hear like a lot of people are going through challenges in their life and different things. And so the problem with me or the problem when I have to go to my attorney is God does this on purpose. I know it. Okay. What I've learned is the past is not meant to hold us. The past is meant to, is to help us. Okay, so when I have to go talk to my attorney, I have to go backwards in my life and we have to have conversations and I have to have many conversations about past and money and life and what was going on. And we have to go through each part of like the year, like what was I doing this year and how did this go into play? And I say this because I, I do like Laura and I like I love Laura. I'm just not in love with her and we in our relationship fell apart, but we love our children. Okay, so I'd be vulnerable to tell you I've made a lot of mistakes. And when I said the mistakes, and I was talking to my attorney about my mistakes. It resonated with me this morning on my walk like, Brock, I think you need to talk about mistakes. And I can't make this stuff up. And I read my 10 pages a day. And literally the line that I underlined over here. Okay, I don't know if you can see it. You probably can't. But anyways, just to prove it, there's a line in here. That states, and I, I put it, he says, better to make mistakes than stay mediocre. And that hit me like a freaking two by four in the head this morning. And I was like, wow, let me read that again. And so I'm going to read to you this passage about mistakes. I'm going to read to you what resonated with me and how my mistakes yesterday were, were I had to revisit them. But I also know that they put me in a better position. And so the first thing that I'm going to read to you is how I know that and how I can prove that. It says in mistakes, there are no mistakes, only lessons. A lesson is repeated until it is learned. If you don't learn the easy lessons, they get harder. You'll know you've learned a lesson when your actions change. I'll read that one again because that one really resonated with me as, as well. You'll know you've learned a lesson when your actions have changed. If that hit you in the head, give me a thumbs up. If that sparked something to you, if that something resonated with you, give me a thumbs up. Let me know that, that I'm not the only crazy one in the room that that struck you. Then I'm going to go and I'm going to read from the book <clears throat> Failing Forward by John Maxwell. Okay says this, the better person is the more mistakes he will make or she make, the more new things he or she will try. I would never promote a top level job to a man who's not making mistakes. Otherwise, he is sure to be mediocre. Mistakes are come in this perspective. And he used every, I think the, uh, I think it's an acronym. Maybe it is. I can't remember. I'm not very good at English, but I'm going to read to you the word mistakes, M, messages that give us feedback about life. I, interruptions 
that should cause us to reflect and think. Sign S, signposts that direct us to the right path. T, tests that push us towards greater maturity. A, awakenings that keep us in the game mentally. K, keys that we can use to unlock the next door of opportunity. E, explorations that let us journey where we've never been before. And S, statements about our development and progress. And so when I was reading this this morning, and I was reflecting on my yesterday's conversation with my attorney, and I think about all the mistakes I've made in my life, And for whatever rhyme or reason, like literally that's what I read today. That happened to be my part of my 10 pages. And that happened to be part of the devotions of September 2nd in the John Maxwell leadership book that I read. When you fail, fail forward. And then I listen to Denzel Washington about how he's failing forward. If you're going to fall And people say, hey, you know what? We can fall backwards in life. We can fall, you know, like, hey, you know, don't worry. Like, I remember my mom telling me, listen, if real estate doesn't work, you can always fall back on teaching. You could fall back on being an assistant principal again, Brock. You could fall back on being a coach. And when I listened to Denzel Washington, because I remember my mom telling that to me, and it kind of like pissed me off a little bit. And I was like, whoa, you don't think I'm going to do it, mom? What do you think? I'm just going to fall apart? And it was just like, Denzel Washington says, if you're going to fall, don't fall back. And if you fall back, fall back on God. But if you're going to do anything, you fall forward. Because when you fall forward, you can see what you're going to fall on. So when you get back up, you can use your hands. You can use your body to get yourself back into that position that you need to keep moving forward. And so today I challenge you, any mistake that you've made in your past, Don't let your past hold you. Let your past help you. Let the opportunities that the mistake has made help you. They're not problems. I put it in my Facebook post today. Mistakes are opportunities, not problems. Mistakes are opportunities for you to learn. In order for you to learn, you got to grow. You got to take action. So when, when people tell me, Brock, it's, I don't, I, you know, this is why, like, I remember I talked about it last week. The attorney said to me, Brock, I don't, I, I, I don't understand how you did this in three years. And sometimes it gets me choked up because you don't understand those mistakes. Those mistakes are what drive me. And so I challenge you today, the mistakes that you have made, don't let them hold you. Don't let them handcuff you. Learn from them and move on. Because if I went around here and I asked every single person that's on Facebook and I've asked every person that's on Zoom and I've asked every person that is on and watches the recording. And if I said to you, have you made a mistake? And I tell you to text me yes or give me a thumbs up. I guarantee it. Every person in here has made a mistake. We're human beings. What did you learn from it? Christian, Greg, John, Jacqueline. I'm just looking at the names that I see on here. We've all made these, 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 these challenging mistakes in our lives, but what do we do from it? So I ask you this today and going into this weekend to reflect on some of the mistakes that you've made, but I want you to think of the lesson you learn so you move forward so you don't make the same mistake. They always have a saying like, you know, <laughs> if, you, if you made a mistake, learn from it. Like, don't do the same thing over and over again. All right. That's called insanity. Doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. So I challenge you today. Absorb the mistakes that you've made. Absorb them. Learn from them. And move forward from it. If you want that, that um, the mistake... Um, I like to call it an acronym. I don't think it's an acronym. Maybe it's, um, here's an archristic. Guys, I'm terrible at this. I'm being honest with you. I'm terrible. But if you want the, the mistakes that I put into this book, you want it to me, send me a text message and I'll send it to you via 
I'll text it back to you. I thought it was really good. It really resonated with me today, and I hope it did it to you. So one of the things I did not get to this week, I was not able to get to stump the chump. And I think we're going to start doing that. I think I don't want to say I think we're going to start doing stump the chump on Tuesdays. And since I didn't do it this week, um, I had a really, really good less, uh, listing presentation last night. And so I'm going to use today in the stump the chump, whether you want to stump me in life, whether you want to stump me in a financial situation, whether you want to stump me in real estate, whatever it is that you want to stump me in, okay? I'm going to open it up. So either Quentin, Christian, Karen, whoever's out there, Mike Demand, whoever's out there, if you got something for me, Okay, I want you to bring it up. I want you to talk about it. I want you to ask me right now. There's got to be something out there that you got for me that you like to challenge me. Now, some of the stuff I know, so you could text me as part of my life coach, business coach. And some of you are like, well, Brock, I don't want to talk to you. You can go to direct message and you can direct message me, and I can, I know how to, uh, you know, make it on uh, an- anonymous. Um, so if you got a if you got a uh, a text you want to send to me, I will I will do that. But who's got something for me this morning? I don't know. That's a good one. What's the well? I I think I do know. <laughs> What's the difference between metaphor, acronym, and simile? Uh, Christian, I don't know about that one. I could Google it. I should know it. I was just terrible in English. I'm actually getting ready to take an English class just to let everybody know because I need to learn English um, at a better level than I do. I did. I even got a master's in college. <clears throat> I make mistakes every day. If I didn't, how can I learn? Absolutely, Greg. <clears throat> Very good. Anybody got anything for me? Life's smooth. There's no issues. Everybody's got a great Friday. No problems. If not, I'll tell you my success story I had yesterday. It was a good one. All right. I'm going to tell you my success. I'm glad everybody's going very smooth today. Yesterday, got a listing yesterday. Thank you, Mike Castor, who taught this to me two years ago. The other agent was like, I can't believe we just did that. 1.45, got a listing, and I got 3.5% commission. The value is there. He even gave us a bonus if he thinks we can sell the house at where it is. So listing agents out there, it's there. It is possible. It doesn't matter what price it is. Yesterday, we proved it that at 1.45, a 3.5% commission, and he didn't even blink at it. Didn't even blink at the, at the thing. And he talked to several agents too. So um <clears throat> so hats off. Uh, I worked with David. He is my mentee and he brought me in on the transaction and he was just like, I'm going to need your help. And so um, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to help you get those deals. He was not complaining when we walked out of there with the three and a half percent commission. That's just our side too, guys. That doesn't even include the buyer agent side. So, but does anybody got any questions for me? Anything at all? That was my success story. Uh, great things happened to me this week on uh, on my coaching, uh, uh, speaking engagement. I'm going to be speaking down in Florida. So I'm excited about that. Uh, I mean, I'll just tell you about my excitement if nobody's got any challenges for me. I've got something to say, Brock, about that oh. listing. All right. You know, it, it's interesting. I've, I've kind of found in life that, because you mentioned the three and a half percent, you didn't even blink, is that when you deal with people that have hit a certain level of success and um, you know, in their finances and whatnot is, is they don't typically, they're not as, I don't know if cheap is the right word, but they're willing to spend money to get results that they want. And, and I think that's a big difference between kind of average people and like the ultra successful people is they they see the value in reinvesting in themselves and reinvesting in, you know, um, investing and, and spending money wisely to get a good return rather than just looking for like the cheapest option. So, mm-hmm. no, so true. I mean, he was, and here was the thing for those that know me, I'm a big on my listing presentations are 45 minutes. I don't like to have long listing presentations, but this house was two and a half acres and it had everything that you possibly can imagine. And 
I, I, I share with you guys, like you got to go around and you got to look. I mean, I was in an attic. Okay. I, and for those that know me, <laughs> I'm literally in an attic. This attic was completely sprayed, right? Completely. Sp I'm in an attic. It's like 85 degrees. And it was like beautiful in that attic. I've never been in an attic that was so insulated my entire life. But guys, I talk about the black belt of personalities on the event that I coach and teach. Do you think when he's showing me the attic on how sprayed it is on the encapsulation in his crawl space? All right. Tell me what type of personality is on the disc. Just write it in here. Tell me is a D an I an S or a C for those that like, what do you, what do you think he is? Anybody even like, and if you don't know this, this is why it's so important. You need to come to my class, my webinar, because you need to know personalities inside out and backwards. Yes, Chris, Mike, the man got it. All right. He's a, when, when people are that detailed in places, you normally don't go into your house. Okay. He's a C and you need to know that if you want to take your business to the next level, everybody, you need to know their personalities like that. So uh, once I learned that, okay. And I learned that within the first, probably two minutes of being in this guy's house, I was like, I might as well just, I might as well just actually texted my girlfriend, Wendy. I said, I'm not going to be home for a while. I can tell you that. Okay. I have to change my entire demeanor. I have to change my entire personality. I have to go from a D to a C and an I. The C to be like, wow. The I to add the enthusiasm behind it. And you just change your personality two hours and 20 minutes later. Okay. But when they break it down, and Pamela knows this, when I break down my hour, my price per hour, three and a half percent at 1.45. Eh, I'll take it. I'll take that hourly rate. Okay. Change your mindset, understand your client. It makes a world of a difference because you want to be involved. Yes. I want to go in that. Get, let me go up there in that attic and I'm looking around at that attic and I'm hanging out in that attic. And I'm touching the insulation in the attic and I'm walking down the whole entire attic and I'm just like, wow, this attic. I'm in a crawl space looking at the encapsulation. I'm all into it, having a grand old time. For those that know me, I can't remember the last time I was in an attic in a crawl space all at the same day. But you got to do what you got to do, right? So, all right, guys. Anybody got anything else for me? Because we're going to get ourselves going. We're going to go from uh, Facebook world. We're going to appreciate you being on here. Thank you so much for taking time. For those that watch the recording, thank you so much. If you got a comment, if you liked what we said, give us a thumbs up. Give us a heart. I love the engagement. It just motivates me. It makes me feel like, hey, we got some good content. We got some good value. So please make sure you, you give us a thumbs up. Give us a heart. If uh, there's something we could do better, please let us know. We're always wanting to be uh, better on that. So thank you so much all for that. In the uh, Zoom world, stay on with us. Uh, don't forget, we'll be back Monday. Um, yes, even on a holiday. We are here. I don't miss any holidays because I always drank on holidays. So I never miss on a holiday because if I could drink on a holiday, I could be positive and I could be motivational on a holiday. So we will be here um, Monday at 815 Facebook World. So uh, come back to us.